In today's video, we are going to talk about 11 things you didn't know about Savannah cats. We will also talk about the most common myths lurking about this special breed. The Savannah cat has become a popular pet because of its interesting and exotic appearance as well as its very characteristic tameness and fondness of their owners. The combination of serval cats and Siamese makes this type of cat one of a kind. Savannahs makes great family members and are very social and interesting animals. Here are 11 facts you probably didn't know about domestic savanna cats. 1. They are the result of crossbreeding. Savannas are a mix of wild serval cats and domestic felines. Savannas are cousins to the lynx and ocelot, and they all wear the same beautiful spotted coat. This beautiful breed was created by crossbreeding a domestic cat with an African wild cat. The first litter was born in 1986, with only one kitten. The kitten was named Savannah, which also became the breed's name after breeders found out about the new kitten and took a large interest in this new, beautiful breed of cat. 2. They love water. Most cats are not too fond of water. It is even safe to say that the majority of cats hate water. But if you need to give your savanna cat a bath, it won't be a difficult task. The savanna cats are known for their love of water, and it is not unusual to find them swimming around, splashing and having the time of their life, while most cats would be longing for bath time to end. 3. They have dog-like personalities. The savanna cat is an active, adventurous and curious cat. Their personality has been widely compared to dogs. The savanna quickly creates strong bonds with their owners and often follows them around, just like how a dog would. This has made the savanna an excellent and popular pet for both cat and dog lovers. 4. They are intelligent. Savanna cats are generally intelligent and curious. They can easily be taught with tricks on command, just like you normally would see with a well-trained dog. This includes tricks such as retrieving objects, opening doors and cabinets. They also enjoy walking on a leash, which many other cats find difficult and unbearable. Just like dogs, savanna cats can also be clicker trained. 5. They are athletic. The savanna cat, as mentioned earlier, is an active and adventurous cat. Paired together with their long and slim legs, which makes them excellent climbers and jumpers. Many cat owners claims that their savannas likes to be up high, finding them on kitchen counters, on top of refrigerators or cabinets. The savanna can also jump 8 to 11 feet horizontally, so this curious cat can change its location from one place to another before you have the time to blink. 6. They are expensive. If you are interested in buying a savanna cat from a breeder, prepare for a high cost to put down some money. This beautiful companion comes at a high price. Savannas are ranged from F1 down to F6, meaning 1st generation or 6th generation, and so on. How much is a savanna cat? The price of a F1 savanna cat is somewhere between $17,000 to $22,000, because of the extreme difficulty of pairing very small litters. Lower generations, such as F3 to F6 will cost about $1,000 to $4,000, since the pairings are easier, and each pairing yields bigger litters. 7. They can grow tall. There have been two cats to hold the Guinness World Records title for the tallest domestic cat, both of them being savannas. The first winner in 2013, named Trouble, was 19 inches tall, toes to shoulder. Trouble fell to second place in 2017, when the Savannah Arcturus was measured at just over 19 inches tall. 8. They are social and playful. S Savannah cats love playing with their human friends, and are even known for greeting their family members at the door. The Savannah cat fluffs the base of their tail when greeting, and can also wag their tails, just like how a dog greets its human. It is not unusual for savanna cats to sleep close to their humans at night, they sometimes cuddle under the covers for warmth. 9. They come in several different colors. Golden with black spots is the most classic look for the savanna, but their pelt fur coat can become in many different shades and colors. Black, brown, silver and smoked are the colors that are accepted by Tika, the International Cat Association, but they can also be marbled, pointed, blue, cinnamon, chocolate, lilac and other dilute versions of colors. They make great pets whatever regardless of the color of their fur, but the colors that are not accepted by Tika can't be shown in cat shows. 10. They have lots of energy. The savanna cat is, as earlier mentioned, very loving and fun to live with. They are playful and curious, and always up for a snuggle or game of fetch. However, they also have a big hunting instinct and are filled with excess energy. If the cat doesn't get plenty of exercise and stimulation, it will get restless and destructive. This might cause them to start playing rough games with your furniture and other household objects. A savanna will feel the best with plenty of exercise, and daily walks in with a leash. And make sure to protect valuable objects, 
since you can never predict what a savanna will be up to next. 11. They are pranksters. You need a bit of humor to keep a savanna cat. The savanna seems to be pranksters, and it's common for the cat to climb up high and push things down on you, or maybe drop things in your food or wake you up in the middle of the night, just for what seems to be the laugh of it. The savanna demands lots of attention and it knows how to get it. You won't have a dull day with a savanna cat in your home. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Savannah Cat's Top 2 Most Common Myths and FAQs Myth number 1. All savannas are huge. This is an unfortunate falsehood spread by some websites, and uninformed or less than honest people. Savannah size can vary, from close to the very tall serval ancestor to the more average domestic cat height. The most consistently large generation is of course, the F1 generation as it has the serval parent contributing half their genetic makeup. Interestingly though, some of the tallest savannas around are F2 generation, but the range of sizes in the F2 generation is more variable. Of course, most breeders have produced a nice big savanna cat, and if we all wish to do so, we could take a picture of that tall cat walking with a petite toddler and photograph it, so that the cat was walking in front, hence exaggerating this cat's size. But most savanna breeders, feel it is more ethical not to create such a false image of the breed. This unfair impression of the breed's size leads to buyer disappointment, and sometimes I fear the expectation of size can lead to the new owner not valuing the other great traits of their savanna, which are exotic looks and its great personality, mainly because it is not the Labrador-sized kitty they were dreaming of. Myth number two. Savannas are wild and dangerous. For many people, wild equates with feral. They figured that the exotic cat's heritage which is based on the serval, will express in a cat that is as aggressive and dominant as its predator counterpart. This is simply not true. The African serval, is known to be one of the most domesticatable, out of all the exotic cats, the reason being, it is more commonly kept as a house pet than most other wild cats. Savannah Rescue does not recommend this at all, it is still a wild cat and as such, is very unpredictable. Making it uneasy to live with in the beginning. But the fact remains, that it is more gregarious and interactive with humans, than most other wild cats. And most importantly, it doesn't view the human as prey. So by crossing this exotic cat with a domestic cat, we do not get an F1 savanna that is difficult to handle, antisocial or dangerous. We get a very high energy, interactive, house pet that is more suited to some pet households than others, making it a wonderful loving pet for many. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.